Uh, hi, I'm Lydia, a second year biologist at Jesus. Um, I grew up in the US, but uh, I'm now here. Um, and I'm Anna, also a second year biologist at Jesus. Um, I'm just from London. Yeah, um, I was quite nervous. I think sort of it's normal to be nervous. I didn't really know how they worked at all. So um, it was very much like quite daunting getting here. Um, but they, they take you through it. Like Yeah, exactly. The, it's scary when you first have arrived because obviously these are people who do know what they're talking about. Um, but once you get started and you're talking and they're asking you questions, you know, you're kind of thinking about other things too much to actually be that scared nervous but um yeah like in retrospect it's quite a fun experience where we got to come here but like regardless you get to speak to professors um it's sort of a new thing that you don't really get to do in in high school so it's you know they're always sort of for, for biology at least they're quite fun questions generally too yeah um exactly. yeah so i had some good just discussions about various things yeah so i wouldn't be too nervous but it's also okay if you are Yeah, so I'm obviously reading um, around your subject, sort of all bits of it um, is very important and going over your personal statement so it's at the front of your mind. Yeah, making sure you like talk about things out loud, so anything you're reading, if it's confusing or something in your personal statement, just like try and talk about it with people because I found that sometimes, like you said, it's much easier to like write things than it is to sometimes like say them out loud and get them out so even if it's a parent or like a sibling yeah just for anyone who will listen <laughs> yeah just talk about talk about biology talk, talk about your subject with someone um so that you're used to that um i would say if you can find interview questions online like have yeah, a look at them helpful. think through some of them yeah um and yeah find, like just find some graphs or something and just have a go at um sort of reading them and understanding what they're saying because those are quite yeah. common questions in the interviews yeah i think like trying to find videos of mock interviews can be quite helpful just to see like the format and that sort of thing but again if you if you haven't ever seen an interview before that's not what they're testing so yeah it's like exactly i wouldn't worry about that at all just making sure that you can actually speak about your subject rather than just think about it or write about it is really important and also often like one of the hardest parts yeah mm -hmm. Um, I mean, before, make sure you have a sort of a space, make sure you're, you're ready in advance. Um, you know, you yeah. sort of have a glass of water, like, you know, your technology's all working. Also that you're not sort of in a rush, um, just as you arrive to an in-person interview 10 minutes early, you know, maybe find your space, settle in 10 minutes early, so mm -hmm. that you're not sort of stressed about that as well. Yeah, maybe like practice getting onto the website or anything like that, you, so that you know it works on your computer. Yeah. Um, yeah, just try and be as sort of as calm as possible going into it, so that there's the fewest hiccups. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the only thing you're focusing on is the question. Uh, during the interview, I would say make sure you're thinking out loud. Make sure that like they're hearing your thought process, because it definitely is about them wanting to see how you think. Mm rather than them wanting to see that you know everything that they're talking about so yeah because they don't expect you to know everything you know, yeah that's why you're coming here so if they bring up something you've never heard of um just like you are allowed to say that you've never heard of that before like but you can talk about it in this way or something else yeah you can attempt to approach yeah. the question in a way that you sort of yeah whereas really knowledge yeah whereas like if you do know something be be confident in it and don't assume don't question yourself too much, but be okay to admit if you've said something wrong or go back. Just like yeah, sort of be exactly. open to what they're saying. You know, they're trying mm. to push you in, in exactly. various directions. Yeah, be open to their suggestions because they're trying to help you um, follow the right route as well. And don't be scared if it seems like they're telling you you're wrong because it is definitely okay to be wrong so long as you sort of can acknowledge that and like take what they're saying on board and, and move mm. forward with it. Um, you know, th again, they're, they're not trying to trip you up. Um, they're just trying to, to help you down a certain path of a question. 
um, yeah. yeah, and they are sort of just trying to give you a bit of an idea of what the tutorial system is like as well. Mm. So actually going in and then trying to enjoy yourself a bit and just enjoy yeah. talking to someone about this the subject that you want to do. Um, and then, you know, sort of the same thing holds for after the interview, I'd say. So like, if it feels, you know, don't focus on the parts that you felt were the worst. Don't go back and revisit everything you said that everyone thinks that they've done something badly or that they misunderstood something or did something wrong um and it just yeah. generally you know everyone thinks that it's and it's just not it's not the case because you're you, yeah you're going to end up focusing just out of you know human nature you just do focus on the worst bits and then suddenly in your mind the whole thing was bad when actually it was just one small bit yeah so don't let that sort of get to your head or anything yeah replaying it in your mind is just not helpful in any case yeah <laughs> so yeah I wouldn't focus on it too much once it's done.